Yo, 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 what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Lamborghini Prime back once again talking this boxing shit. And as always, make sure you hit up my official site, hustlegameboss.com, and check out my all new album. It's my turn, the Throne Ascension LP. It's a motherfucking classic all the way around. It's also available on iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon Music, Tidal, big shout out to Tidal, Spotify, Pandora shit literally everywhere music is found it's even on youtube just search the supreme general and you will see my face you know what i mean i greatly appreciate it all the way around also if you fuck with me the long way make sure you stop by my official site hustlegameboss.com forward slash shop and uh get your official supreme general merchandise over there i got it all baby t-shirts hats hoodies you know what I mean? Zip up hoodies, regular pullover hoodies, you know what I mean? I got the motherfucking drawstring knapsacks for the students, got the goddamn phone covers for my real ones, you know what I mean? Who wanna let it be known they fuck with me the long way? I really appreciate y'all. And shit, I even got onesies for your baby if that's what you know what I mean. You got a newborn you want to dress them as something fly, you know what I mean? I got some shit for them too. Even shit for the toddlers. It's all there, baby. Anybody from 8 to 80, blind, crippling, crazy. You fuck with me, you know what I mean? I got something on there for you. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and all, as always, if you do cop something, make sure you tag me on Instagram or Twitter. They both at Hustle Game Boss. Or you tag me on Facebook, The Supreme General. And uh, let me know, you know what I mean, that you fuck with me. I will show you some love back because real recognize real. And I appreciate those who see me and fuck with me. You know what I mean? That's some G shit. You know, so it's it's on it's it's in me. I have to show you some love back. You know, cause it's just really appreciated. Anybody who support me like that, I really appreciate it. And I will, I will I don't mind letting that be known. That being said, on to this video, which is my updated thoughts on uh, uh, tomorrow's fight between Chris Eubank Jr. and George Groves. Now. My original prediction was Chris Eubank Jr. was to easily defeat the, in my opinion, shop-worn, very shop-worn, George Groves. And I still got Eubank winning by a decision, but I don't know, man. I'm not so I'm not so sure about the knockout and the brutal ass whooping that I thought George Groves was gonna get before this, man. I, I definitely when I first read about this fight i was like yeah chris eubank is gonna beat george groves man but i'm not so sure man basically what this fight is this is what I, this is a litmus test to tell me whether or not chris eubank jr is the real deal or not because he's the smaller guy and it was evident at the weigh-in man it looked it to me just, george groves just looked like a natural 168 pounder man he's a big guy he's a beefy guy like he slimmed down to get down to 168 now chris eubank jr looked like a fucking middleweight who's gaining weight to come up and that's cool that's cool but the old adage still stands a great little man usually loses to a good bigger man and what that means is the guy, the little man might have more skill, may have more pizzazz, may have more style, may have whatever. All these advantages. He may have all of those. But uh, the big man, his size and his is just overall size is going to eventually take a hold in that fight and bring him the victory. And in this case, man, after seeing, like, just thinking about it, man, Eubank at middleweight, man, he wasn't exactly a devastating puncher like that, you know. But George Gross has always been a devastating puncher, man. He almost had Frosh the fuck out of there early in that fight. But both fights, he almost had Frosh the fuck out of there, you know what I mean? And, I mean, he had him hurt bad, man. That shit could have, if, if Frosh wouldn't have been able to knock him out, he would have definitely got knocked out in that fight, man. And everybody George Groves has fought since and before, he's been able to hurt, you know, at least hurt. So what I, the reason I'm mentioning this is because George Groves has been a, a super middleweight for a long time now. 
You know, he's not they not too the the age gap isn't that far between these two guys. So it's not really like a age thing per se in years of life. It's an age thing in in, in terms of a uh, high level fights. You know what I mean? In my opinion, the only high level fight so far we've seen Chris Eubank Jr. in was against uh Billy Joe Saunders and he lost that fight. You know, he lost it rightfully. I didn't think it was a I, I thought Billy Joe won that fight. He, I had him winning on my card. It was close, 7-5, but he won. You know what I'm saying? And so what that tells me is, man, at the at the upper echelon, man, shit may get rough for Eubank. Now, could Eubank have beaten Billy Joe? Yes, I do believe he could have beaten him. I believe that if he would have started sooner, he definitely could have beat Billy Joe Saunders. But at that point, it just it just didn't. It didn't happen. And also, I do believe Chris Eubank Jr. has to rematch Billy Joe Saunders. Period. Point blank, period. He has to rematch him. No matter what else happens in his career, he has to rematch him. It's a really big deal. You know what I'm saying? But that aside, he's the smaller man coming up. He's known for throwing a barrage of punches. But he's fighting a huge puncher. Huge puncher in George Groves, man. One punch could turn the whole fight and we know you bank defensively man his head movement isn't exactly the best you know that's the first thing you notice and when he comes in he comes in he come in your wheelhouse so if you can't handle nobody on the inside he's gonna eat you up but if you can and i believe george groves can because he's he's smarter in the ring than he gets credit for you know what i mean for him to be able to uh be up on the cars against a guy like frotch and they first and second fight more the first though it's more impressive in the first fight in my opinion but for him to be in that position against a guy like frotch it tells you he's not no he's not no sucker man he gonna know what he's doing getting in and out of there you know so he's a crafty fighter man and after listening to uh ironically my man eddie hearn's opinion on this fight i gotta agree with him man i agree with him george groves this is not a foregone conclusion that this is eubanks eubanks commit this is <laughs> Eubanks crowning, if you will, you know. We, we we're not going to just commemorate Eubank as the fucking man, you know, without winning this fight. So, But, like, like I said earlier in this video, if Eubank is the real deal, he will beat George Groves. And if he beats George Groves, I believe you got to stamp Eubank as the real deal at that point. You know, especially if it's a spectacular performance and it's not no weak shit to where he just get, you know, beat down you know what i mean or you know as long as it ain't no rego lomachenko shit you know what i mean where it's like obviously fixed or you know what i mean like as long as it ain't no shit like that and we see a hell of a fight i expect george groves to go to war man because like he proved in his last fight man he's always in it man he's always in it it only takes one punch to turn the entire fight around and man i mean you bang i've heard legendary stories about his chin but I don't know, man. I don't know. We will see, man. We will see. I'm still shading towards Eubank because he got more skills. And I believe George Groves done been in too many wars. So I do expect Eubank to win this fight on points. But I don't expect him to knock out George Groves. Maybe a TKO from, you know, overwhelming him in the corner or some shit like that. You know, once he gets Groves hurt, start unloading on his ass and dropping them combos. Maybe he might win like that. But if he doesn't do that... He probably won't knock out Groves, and this will probably go to a decision, and he will win a clear one-sided division. I mean, de- decision, rather. But George Groves is in it, man. This fight has become a 50-50 fight, in my opinion. Now, true indeed, George Groves didn't sound confident at all, but this is the same kind of shit we saw with uh Holly Holm and, uh, what's her name, Ronda Rousey. You know, Rousey had all the confidence in the world, and Holmes just looked like she was just chilling, you know, in the back, not really confident, kind of, you know, just giving her props and being passive about the whole shit. And then when the fight came through, she got in that ass, you know what I mean? So, like I said, man, George Groves is no joke. He's WBA champion for a reason. He deserves respect, and his power is second to none it's unmatched well not unmatched let me stop that it ain't unmatched but at 168 he's a heavy 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 puncher they said Kyle Frotch was a puncher but George Groves actually punched harder than him in my opinion you know just from what I see on the screen you know so 
I still got you, Bang Man, but this fight just got a hell of a lot more interesting. So if George Groves win, man, I wouldn't be surprised. And if he do, I assume it will be by knockout. So, shit, that's my thoughts on it, man. I'm out this bitch. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. I'm on to the next 100.